Astea means non-stealing, honesty in all areas of life, even in sorts. Astea, one of the virtues restraints. In Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 2.30, Astea, non-stealing, is on the path of Raja Yoga, the third of five external restraints, yamas, that should be cultivated and realized in order to refrain from harmful behaviors. Asteya is a universal law. The application is not limited by time or cultural conditions. Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 2.31 Royal Jean Davis writes in his commentary on this. The necessity for the cultivation and actualization of these attitudes and behaviors is not limited to the era in which we live or by cultural conditions because they represent the ideal, responsible way for everyone to live. The way to Astea to weaken and neutralize harmful inclinations, replace them with constructive actions. Patanjali's Yoga Sutras 2.33 Roy Eugene Davis writes in his commentary on this. The easiest way to control and overcome the influences of harmful subconscious inclinations is to nurture feelings of happiness and self-confidence and to intentionally perform constructive actions. An optimistic mental attitude enables us to be receptive to experiencing ideal outcomes for all situations. Happiness and self-confidence clarify awareness, improve mental abilities and powers of perception, enable functional skills to be used more effectively, and strengthen the body's immune system. Astea in life. In Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 2.37 it says, One who does not steal and has no thoughts of stealing from others experiences prosperity and good fortune. In his commentary, Roy Eugene Davis notes the following. Stealing, taking something from someone to whom it rightfully belongs, causes hardship for the victim and inclines a dishonest person to have thoughts and feelings of guilt and remorse. Honest, emotionally mature individuals who choose to be responsible for their actions and are optimistically receptive to good fortune can easily prosper in all aspects of their lives. Harmonious integration of the spiritual, mental, physical, emotional and environmental aspects of life enables us to be in the flow of necessary resources and supportive events and circumstances that are for our highest good. Use this technique of creative imagination to cultivate and realize the attitudes and behaviors of Astea. Knowing that you are a spiritual being, superior to your mind 
and to mundane circumstances, do the following. Meditate at the beginning alone in a quiet place. Sit upright on a chair, close your eyes and relax. Breathe three times deeply in and out. Concentrate on the area between the eyebrows and watch your breath. Don't try to control it, just observe your breath. Cool air while inhaling, warm air when exhaling. If you like, you can use a mantra. When your mind is calm and your awareness is clear, Vividly imagine that you are Astea, you are non-stealing. You don't think about owning something that doesn't belong to you. There is no need to use willpower. Just remember Patanjali's Yoga Sutra about Astea, one who does not steal and has no thoughts of stealing from others, experiences prosperity and good fortune. One who does not steal and has no thoughts of stealing from others, experiences prosperity and good fortune. Clearly see yourself as this person who is fully established in a stair in non-stealing and feel it at the deepest level of your being. Imagine and feel how you as this person will think, how do you speak and how will you act. The feeling that you have should be of acceptance and gratitude rather than an emotion. Rest for a while in that awareness and feeling of accomplishment of Astea. Maintain your clear awareness and feeling of accomplishment of Astea after your practice session.